Hello everyone, Cat here again. I'm here to bring to you guys a review on the Ravenheart Bandalar. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, I'm sorry if you can't. But basically, this is a holster strap to hold your bow or your or crossbow to your back. So when you go into battle, you have an extra weapon or your weapon is holstered until you need it at the most of times. This is part of the Spy Rebel series. So, it's very interesting. I've already, I, I've been wanting to try it on a bunch of my weapons, see if it would hold. And you know I have the strong heart bow because it's in one of the first videos I have on the channel. It was my first nerf weapon, my strong heart bow. It, if you haven't seen that and you are new to the channel, I recommend you try that out. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get it out of the packaging. Okay. Oh, it's not even attached. Okay, that's easy. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, wow. It even has places for darts, as you can see. And it has many straps so that it can hold many types of your weapons. Especially us girls. We want more of those weapons, people. Hint, hint, nerf. The Rebel series needs to be widened a bit. I'm not complaining about your bows. They're pretty good. But I'm just saying, you need to stop making so many bows and start making more guns that are more high-powered for us girls. We don't like those wimpy little things. Believe me. I've been buying newer stuff that isn't Rebel lately because there's nothing that much in the stores around me. I live in the Andover area. For now, all that places, they don't have that much of a selection. I'm just saying. You need to either get better selection in there or something. But basically, this is my bandalar and i got it for 15 dollars off of amazon i'm not adding shipping to that i don't think no i am because it was ten dollars well it's five dollars for free shipping so basically it has dart holes hole dart holsters on the top part i think yeah no this is the bottom I'm looking at it wrong. Sorry, guys. Um, and then it also has some on the strap itself, and this is very much adjustable. So it will fit pretty much any size. So let's try this out. Okay, I got my strong heart bow here. See how it goes. Do this first strap. Ugh. Bottom strap first. Oh my goodness, this thing's so long. It could totally do more than just bows, I'm guessing. It could probably use you could probably use guns in here. For heaven's sakes. Um which isn't a bad thing. I mean, if you're going into battle and you this is and you're a spy and you gotta be quiet and you're holding one of the smaller weapons. not cooperating. That's okay. I'm working on it, guys. Okay. Take the middle strap, put it here. Next strap. Put it 
here. Oh, this one's a little too small. That's right, I totally forgot about that. And then take this one and put it here. And let's see how it looks on my back. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. It looks pretty compact and kind of cool, actually. Um, I don't know if I would hit anything, but, oh, that's better. Okay, so, yeah, it works on the strong heart bow, but on the package it says it's only supposed to work for the whole holster, for the heartbreaker bow, or the angel arm, which I will be getting to the other one that I have. That is a crossbow. And it is bigger than both of the things that is re recommended for this. But I think it will work excellent. So, actually, it does. I am pretty sure it will work. As you can tell from the back, it shows both of the type that you're supposed to use on this bandalock. But I don't have those. So I'm using what I do have, which works perfect, as you can see. It's holding it great, and I have great accessibility to it, because I can just go like this, and voila, undo it, grab my weapon, it is pretty loud though. So you're going to have to be quieter than this, probably, unless you're in a hurry and the enemy is on top of you. Then I recommend just shooting with it in the holster still, because that is a possibility. Um, I will show you the next one in a minute, but basically, that's how it works. And voila! There's one down! Let's see the next one. Okay. I know, this looks huge. Alright. Let's do this one next. Holster it the same way. Except for... I think the middle one isn't going to be able to holster, of course. It's all the other ones that I'm more worried about. So, here goes. Alright. Next one. You in real quick. They have to end this video pretty quickly soon. So here goes. This is my review on this, and I actually think it is a great product because it fits my Nerf weapons, and I bet it could fit even the guys if they wanted a cheap solution to any situation like this. So, let's see. Aha! There it goes. Okay. There it goes. Alright. It's being held by like two of them. Because it's a bigger one. So yeah. I'm going to see how it works. On my back. Okay. Alright. I think there's one issue with this one, and I think that is that it um, is bigger, and that I think I'll hit things, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna, yeah, I've adjusted it. See, this works pretty good for most rebel or bows. I think you could even fit one of the bigger guns in there and not have a problem. But they say it's only for those two bows. Uh, I mean the bow and the crossbow. So, I would recommend this product. It is a very good product in many ways. So, 
I give whoever created this one a thumbs up. So, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. See ya, everyone.